now we get to the story of Shannon Miller. If you watch the national championships, she did one routine on the uneven bars. She then petitioned to come here to Boston to be verified. She was on Monday, whatever that means. <laughs> she got through it. She showed everybody she can do the routines. This is the first time that she will be in a two-day event in three Straight up years. On the mound, good long tip, fast hand. She okay. had a stress fracture yeah. in her leg good that prevented swing, her from competing swing. fully. That's Steve Nuno. Invert up, push it up. Invert pirouette, nice tight body. In practice, body. at that verification full, here in Boston, form. she did not that's look right, good. Right, on right. this event, which she did perform at the national championships, what went wrong here, guys? This was during the warm. She just misses her hand right there. Yikes! Good catch by Coach Nuno. <laughs> Back in, full, hit it, okay? Steve Nuno said what Shannon needs to do here right now is to turn it on and get motivated. Yeah, she has to be better than she's been. He admits that. I think Shannon knows it. This is a critical routine for her. Bella Caroli, they're counting on her to be able to do bars and being for sure at the Olympic Games. Dominique Mociano, another one of the Magnificent Seven, had to withdraw from the trials because she needs knee surgery now. It was injured in preparation for these trials, so the Magnificent Seven is now down to three. Shannon Miller, the most decorated female gymnast in American history at the Worlds and the Olympics, trying to return. Now married at the age of 23. Still extraordinarily popular. New skill for Shannon added in this new quadrennium right here. Inverted Giants. Here come the releases. Elfie mentioned the extended legs, the knees and the toes of Elise Ray. Well, Shannon Miller pretty much wrote the book on that. Going for the stick. The most decorated American female gymnast searching for more decoration and a very good beginning. And she could not have asked for a better beginning. And you know you're something special in gymnastics when they start naming skills after you. That's called the Miller right there. And knees and toes and tight. And that is what not just the U.S. judges, but the international judges are looking for. And Shannon Miller knows, more importantly, that she could fulfill a role for this team on this event. Big number for Shannon Miller, not so for Morgan White on the vault. The trials continue after this. Back at the Fleet Center in Boston, Massachusetts, Vanessa Atler has really had a nervous look in preparation for these trials. Now training in Plano, Texas with Valerie Lyukin. The Russian Olympic gold medalist who was such a daredevil trying to instill a level of confidence in his new gymnast since she had left Beth and Steve Rybacki back in California after last year, last year's nationals. And she really struggled actually quite a bit, even on vaulting all week long. is capable of doing is sticking. She didn't do it. When she threw around, I wish to be a black. Okay. Squeeze your seat. Okay. Stick that thing. I have to tell you, I have to tell you though, when we saw her fall a few times in training, this is not a bad first outing for Vanessa Atler. A little bit of form in the air, maybe not as high and powerful. And this is what she gives away, that little step back there. She can stick this vault. She should. Still, though, this young lady, one of the best athletes to walk on a gymnastics floor. She's got tremendous power. Over the course of the past three years, if you said, is Vanessa Atler going to the Olympic Games, virtually everyone who follows this sport would say, absolutely. And yet, what do you think? Is her standing here precarious at all? Well, she has to have a good competition. She, she needs to be confident, and she needs to show that she's not gonna let the mind games get in the way. Handspring laid out front with a half twist. Oh boy. Yep. That. They can take quite a bit from that vault yeah. because she didn't have the body position that exactly. she should have had in the air. She is supposed to remain completely okay. stretched. Okay. Okay. 
on the uneven bars, we find the two-time national champion, Kristen Maloney. Now, all these gymnasts have been injured over the course of the past year, some more seriously. Kristen actually had to have a rod inserted into her leg to overcome a stress fracture, plus the doctors tweak her shoulder a little bit. She said she feels good. It's amazing that she was able to get back in time to compete at the Nationals at the level she did. She was actually out for 12 weeks after the shoulder surgery, but she informed me that it is not going to be a problem on bars. Tricky combination coming up right here. Supposed to... Nope. That's a problem. I tell you, even, even the very best can feel the ungodly sting of Olympic trials pressure. She's a pro, though, and she definitely held that together. Not going to bring in the score that it could have, though. Could have been a disaster. Tricky combination right here. She needs to do all of these very difficult elements combined. She's supposed to come off here, do a full pirouette, doesn't get anywhere near the handstand. And this is where her mind, it is spinning, it's racing. But this is why she's going to make that team. She's able to get it together, do what she needs to do, and move on. Yes, it's regarded that Kristen Maloney and Elise Ray have unique status here, and she gets a 9.075 on the uneven bars and a hug from Bella Caroli and a pat from Donna Strauss, her longtime coach. Let's get the numbers on Vanessa Atler, 9.4 on the second vault. She averages out 9.5. And now we're going to watch the elegant style of Alyssa Beckerman, life on the bubble from Wyoming, Ohio. Coming into these Olympic trials, she was in fifth place. Ideally, you would love to take the indecision out of it reinforce the fact that you belong in the Olympic Games. She'll be on the vault here, and this was her weakest apparatus at the Nationals. Now she's starting off with a vault. To give you an idea, it's just the start value is only out of a 9.6. It's the best I've seen her do it all week. And Elfie, just to reinforce the point, a start value yeah, means that if you hit bring it. Bring it into land. Bring it into land on this okay. one. Big off the horse, bring it in. All right, good job. And hit it perfectly. That's the best score you could get. And there, once again, Mary Lee Tracy, who's a busy coach here at the Fleet Center. Mary Lee said that one of the biggest challenges for her is keeping Alyssa focused at big time competitions. She knows she has the talent. She just needs to keep her focused on every single element. This is a fantastic sign, though. Very difficult to land this vault, and she does not, she doesn't get careful. She goes for it, takes a little bit of a gamble. That's what you got to do to make an Olympic team. Part of Alyssa's story is, where does Amy Chow? Where does Shannon Miller? Where do the veterans fit in? Dominique Dawes. How many spots do the veterans get? How many spots do the new kids get? Her score was an 8.837. That's very consistent with the way she scored at the national championships. Actually, I think that could have been a little bit higher. It was a, she does have some form off of the horse. Legs come apart a little bit, but it was a nice body position in the air. Just a small little hop on the landing. You know, in the second vault, the start value actually goes down a tenth. So the maximum here is only a 9.5. Maybe a little bit cleaner, yeah. not quite as good of a body position and a bigger step. And three holes. Thank you. All right, let's get ready for the next one. Good job. You know Amy Chow has taken time off from her pre-med curriculum at Stanford University to rededicate herself to a return visit to the Olympic Games after winning gold with the Magnificent Seven in Atlanta. At the national championships, Bella Caroli, when asked by Beth Ruyak, who are the leaders of your team, spoke three names. Kristen Maloney, Elise Ray, and Amy Chow. Starting on an extremely comfortable event for Amy, but if you remember back in St. Louis at the Nationals, she did have problems in the competition, as easy as this can be for her. Lots of stuff in this routine. Coach Mark Young said he struggled with maybe taking some of these big elements like this out. That right there is a change from St. Louis in the Nationals. 
They made that revision in case she's a little bit close. She doesn't run into the same big problem. Great decision. That's going to work. From Shannon Miller to Amy Chow, the old guard looking good. What a great atmosphere we have in the Fleet Center for this event. If you remember back in St. Louis, what went wrong was at the top of the bar here in a release move. She came in a little bit too close. Not here, though. And she going actually, in. Actually straddles her legs on this element now. A, a change makes it a little bit easier. Even if she is close, she can make that, that slight.